South Mountain, and I just found this guy. Let me go hide. That is called a chuckwalla. Big lizard. And what he does is he goes into these crevices and he thinks I'm a predator. He'll poof up his body, so he's impossible to get out of there. It's kind of a cool strategy. But all right, I am in Awatuki and I just got a pretty nice looking Western Diamondback in someone's backyard. It was crawling back and forth along the outer wall, which was telling me that she didn't really want to be there. It was just trying to pretty much get away and go down into a drainage and there were houses in the way. So it was in a spot that there was a lot of nearby construction and other stuff. This is a really exceptionally pretty Diamondback too. Wow, very clean lines, very nice. So can't just dump it out in a bush. I talk about that quite a bit. If you just release this out in the open desert, it's gonna die. So I found this wall, which is exactly the kind of place where snakes like this will estivate. Or you can think of it like summer hibernation. That's where it's gonna stay hidden from the heat until it's cool enough. And she looks like she's pregnant too, a gravid. And that is another reason to be very careful with this snake. I'm gonna let her go right into that nest right there. Actually, I'm gonna go over here because it's a little bit there's fewer Choya there, and it's not part of the same network anyway, so she's gonna be fine. I'm just put that like that. I'm not doing this very gracefully. It's hard to do this on a hill sometimes. Okay, let's get out of here. Come on. There we go. Look how pretty that snake is. Very clean. All right, so there's lots of opportunity down there to stay nice and cool. And hopefully she just stays in this area until she has her babies and there's lots of new little diamondbacks hanging out down here. See you later. Some junk over here so snake buckets can be good for relocating all kinds of stuff. later but never too early in the morning to be disappointed in people oh boy